Today's episode features Mr. Michael Warnock from Prince George High School. Hey guys, I'm CD from AK3R, <clears throat> and today I conducted a very, very, very special interview with my old band director from high school, Mr. Michael Warnock. Hi, Mr. Warnock, you're on YouTube. And um, early, when, back when I still was in high school, I did mention some K-pop. I did show him some K-pop stuff and some other K-pop aspects, like Eat Your Kimchi, and I showed him some stuff from G Dragon. But that's the most I ever got him into it. <sighs> The struggle was real. Um, <laughs> yeah, I got I updated him on the constant fan wars that were you know, going on at the time. And then earlier th this week, I just had an idea. I was like, what if I got a professional musician to give an honest review on K-pop? So I messaged him, and I was like, hey, Mr. Warnock, how about an interview? And he's like, sure. So I went in earlier today. I showed him three videos focusing on three different aspects of K-pop, vocals, cinematography, and dance and he gave his professional opinion on all three guys i'm so sorry i am not the best cameraman in the world my arms get tired very easily so please excuse the shaky camera hopefully you guys enjoy his opinion another thing you guys he is giving his professional opinion on these videos he does not know much of the k-pop world he he's very educated music wise so if he says something that you do not like he He's not a K-pop fan. He's not a K-pop fan, you guys. Just say he's not a K-pop fan, so don't get mad. Don't expect him to know, because he won't. Here is Mr. Warnock's review of all three. We are my mama. So, Mr. Warnock, tell us what you thought of Mama Moo's Piano Man. Uh, I thought it was great. I really did. I thought it was really, really good. Um, it reminds me a lot of some of the the girl groups that came out of the 90s with the big, big voices and the, the really great harmony and vocals. Uh, but at the same time with that bluesy, jazzy feel that kind of mixed in, uh, that, that mixed in at the beginning with the that, that nice, slow, kind of film noir look. It was, it was great. I loved it. Any particular person stuck out? Any any members in particular stuck out to you? Uh, I'm not really familiar with the members that well. So <laughs> I really haven't paid that much attention. I was just trying to listen to music and really sit back and enjoy it. Uh, they just they they have big voices. I mean, I would love to hear it live. So if it's if it's exactly the same as what they're doing with the studio mix, then it's it's got to be some fantastic work because it sounds real like they're just belting it out, which is great for you know uh, just modern pop music as it is. So thanks for your opinion. All right. <laughs> So, K Wells, please don't. Uh, I don't really get into a whole lot of ballads, but I think the concept of the video was pretty good. I really did. It, I guess the ending was supposed to be a little bit of a surprise. It was. Like a shocker, but I I, it, I don't know. It's kind of weird. It's I'm, I guess I'm a little bit more accepting than most people <laughs> because it doesn't really. Yeah, it caused, a, it caused a lot of waves over there when it came out. Yeah, it didn't really bother me or anything like that. Uh, you know, but obviously I guess he was in love with his friend. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I, I think overall the song was pretty effective. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's a pretty decent song. I, I, I found myself with this, I think I found myself watching more the story behind the video than I did actually trying to listen to the song. That happens, right? As a first impression, 
I think I would end up having to listen to the song a bunch more times just to get into the song because I don't listen to a whole lot of ballads or you know. And when I do, it has a tendency to be stuff that's a little bit more like stringy or classical. You know, things that you know are a little bit different than pop ballads. So I I, I really did end up finding myself kind of it, the music ended up being supportive of the video. As a, you know, the, the story of the video, and uh, I guess a lot of that also has to do with the fact that I don't speak Korean. <laughs> Since I don't understand what the words are about, yeah, I end up just watching the visual part of it, mm-hmm. and the music goes along with it. That's nice. <laughs> that's nice, Mr. Wanak. Do what? I said, that's nice, Mr. Wanak. But you're right. I, when I first saw the video, I, it's, I have, it's a natural reaction with everyone. Everyone always gets stuck more on the video you than the actual yeah, song. You do end up getting into the video part of it. You're like, hey, look, at the whole wedding and the love story. I mean, it is kind of a surprise ending, yeah. you know, because he tore the girl out of the picture and everything. Yeah. And, and it, but it is, it's, it's weird because it ends up becoming, whoever the video editor is for this one really de- definitely needs to get some credit because it, it, the, the video ends up being almost overpowering to the music. Instead of it being about the music, it ends up being about the visual part of it. So, I got I made three separate reaction videos because because people like people's reactions to this video so much. I did three separate reaction videos. I know mine was kind of like, <laughs> you know, and, but like everyone I did it to, they were accepting of it, but at the same time, they were still like, "What? I wasn't ready." Yeah, yeah it, it's definitely different. It's definitely <laughs> different. Um, I I guess I don't know. I guess it would be a shocker if if. I didn't work in the arts community, but, or whatever, I guess, but it's, I don't know, it's weird. TVXQ, not TV. TVXQ, 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 TVXQ. <laughs> Just trying to keep up. Just trying to keep up. Uh, opinion? Yeah. Uh, it seems, I don't know, I, I guess I would almost have to ask the question, is, is this, do they normally put out stuff that's like, uh, supposed to be like dance club type music? Their specialty is mostly dance music, so anything yeah. that you can really dance to... They're gonna then do it. it. It's, then it's perfect. <laughs> um, it's it's kind of like I, I don't know. It's it's hard to to describe because some of it, like the beginning part of it, reminds me of like old dance club music, like the older stuff from like the the mid to late nineties, and then some of it's a little bit more modern, especially with the visual part of it. Um, now it's I gotta tell you that it I kind of had a stereotype in my head before I watched the videos and and. And the, the this one definitely breaks the stereotype because the the use of you know the use of just kind of almost like a monochromatic type of thing where they're using silver and white and black and as opposed to a lot of bright colors it's a little bit darker and, and steamier and, and so it's it's really nice honestly to to see something that's that's and it, it seems like old industrial. It almost seems like a combination of old industrial and stuff that's a little bit more modern um, that you would see in, in, you know, like dance routines that you would see in clubs that have dancers, like professional dancers in it, uh, you know, and they're, they're doing all the body movement and everything else like that. So I, I think it's super effective. Uh, I really, I, I, if I was out at a club, I would want to listen to this. I would. Even though, again, the, the, the purpose of music like this isn't necessarily to sit back and go, okay, I really want to listen to the lyrics and have a song that touches me. It, it, the purpose of this music is to have fun. If you're out hanging out with your friends and having fun. So I think it does a great job yeah. of doing that. Yeah, and they have no problem p- performing this live. I've seen them do this live. Yeah, and exactly. I mean, it, it, I'm not a huge fan. It, this is kind of normal for me, and this is my personal opinion. I'm not a huge fan of, of a lot of stuff that's auto-tuned. So... Obviously, the beginning of the video was something that I kind of had to knock in pretty quick, but uh, it, it, in general, it seems like it's really, really good. I, I, everything I got to watch today was pretty good. Thank you very much. 
So, final opinions. Uh, I think the three videos that I got to watch today, uh, out of the three, I, I think the first one and the, the third one were probably my favorites. The second one, I, unfortunately, as a professional musician, I'm all about the music. And uh, the second one I had a tendency to kind of lean towards, I really, I got emotionally more involved in the video than I did in the music. Uh, so that, like I said, the guy who produced the video either needs a commendation or needs to, to, you know, maybe figure out that he's he's supposed to play second fiddle to the music on this. But um, overall, I mean, like the first video, golly man, those girls can sing, they can flat sing. Uh, and then the you know to to just hear the blues sound coming out of the piano at the same time. Uh, I mean, you're, it's that's going to tug at my heart no matter what. Yeah, I love, you know, you start putting that sharp four in there and it sounds great. And then, um, you know, and then the third movie, the third video, sorry, uh, the third video is awesome. Just as far as just the danceability to it. I, I could, you know, if I'm hosting a party or at a club or something like that, I'd throw that into the mix as a DJ. Especially if I was, you know, in country, you know, in, in, in the culture that's being represented in the video, I would, I would use it. In a heartbeat, I'm just you know, and judging by the number of views that it has, it's been used, mm -hmm. so it's all good. Uh, I think, I think, definitely, there's been some some stereotypes that have been smashed because uh, I'm, like I said, I'm used to seeing when I see K-pop videos, I'm used to seeing videos that are super bright and super colorful, and sometimes they do things that are kind of out of the box. <laughs> G Dragon, <laughs> yeah, exactly, you know, because you know, G Dragon was my first introduction to K-pop. Um, overall, so I was like, hey, you know, I guess this is my mental, you know, that and, and you know, the guys over at Eat Your Kimchi. So that was kind of my first introduction to it. Uh, well, props out to your Eat Your, Eat your Kimchi guys. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, it's just, it's one of those things where it, it, it definitely changed, changed my mind in a little bit of a different direction just to see some of the things that are going on. It's, I mean, yeah, some of this stuff reminded me of, like old Destiny's Child and I'm like having flashbacks. And it was awesome. All right. Anyway. Thanks, Mr. Warnock. No problem. <laughs> he mentioned Destiny's Child. <laughs> My childhood. <laughs> Anyways, y'all. Shout out to Mr. Warnock. Mr. Warn Easy. Yes, we called him Mr. Warn Easy. Don't judge. Two thousand class of two thousand fourteen. Okay, best class ever. Anyways. Thanks for Mr. Warnock for all his support. I bugged him like crazy with my K-pop stuff in high school, and I'm still bugging him about it now. So glad that he could stop, take time out of his day to come and do this review video. Thank you guys for watching. I'm CD from AK3R. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. Follow me on social media. The links are in the description. Shout out to all my co-hosts ever featured on this channel, past, present, and future. Subscribe for more video, guys. What? <laughs>